Hello everyone, and this is the answers video for the conditional logic part one assignment. Okay, here we go. All right, the first question was a multiple choice. A conditional statement is, and the answer to this is C. A conditional statement is any statement that can be expressed in if-then form. The rest of these are false. B looks good and it's close, but expresses a condition that's not specific enough. If-then form. It, it can be expressed. Can be expressed in if-then form. Doesn't necessarily have to be if-then. It can be expressed. Alright. The phrase that follows the if in an if-then statement is called the hypothesis. So it's if and then the hypothesis. Then, what comes after the then in an if-then if statement? That's our next question. The phrase that follows the then in an if-then statement is called the Conclusion. Okay, so it's if, hypothesis, then, conclusion. Notice that the hypothesis does not include the word if, and the conclusion does not include the word then. Many people make that mistake to think that the hypothesis is if, whatever is after it. It's not. It's just what's at whatever is after it. Okay? Now then, it says, is this statement true or false? Well, we have to evaluate this statement and see if it's true or false. If x equals 3, then 3x equals 9. Is it true that if x is 3, then 3x is equal to 9? We'll use the substitution property to put 3 in for x. 3 times 3 equals 9. This is true. If 3 equals x, then 3 times x, or 3 times 3, equals 9. Next up. What is the conclusion? What does conclusion mean? It's the part that comes after the then. It does not include the then. It's the part that comes after the then. What is the conclusion of this conditional statement? If Harley has fleas, then he itches. He itches is the conclusion. Not then he itches, okay. but he itches is the conclusion. Next. What word do we use to negate a hypothesis or conclusion? So if I said, if um, it's raining, then I'm wet. Okay, there's a if-then statement or a uh, conditional statement. To negate it's raining, I use the word not. To negate I'm wet, I use the word not. So if I were to negate, well that would go not there, but here, sorry, okay. So I would use the word not to negate. All right, if it's not raining, then I'm not wet. So the word is not. Okay. A counterexample is a true statement that shows the conditional statement to be what? A counterexample is, first of all, has to be true. Okay. But it shows a conditional statement to be false. A counterexample shows that it's false. 
If I say, if I'm wet, then I'm swimming, you could say no. What if it's raining, then you're red. wet. What if you're outside and it's raining? Boom. I just showed an example that shows that statement to be false. Okay, so counterexample is a true statement that shows a conditional statement to be false. All right, so let's give a counterexample for this conditional statement. It says, if I'm driving, then my hair is blowing. If I'm driving, is my hair necessarily blowing? Always blowing? I usually actually know if I'm driving around, my hair is perfectly still. Why is that? Well, what if the windows are rolled up? Right? So, windows could be rolled up. There's a counterexample for this statement that proves this statement to be false. If I'm driving, then my hair is blowing? No, that's not true. When my windows could be rolled up and my hair is not blowing at all. Okay? All right. This one there. Negate this phrase. The ball is red. Negate means just to say the opposite. What word do we use to negate? The ball is not red. So the negation of this statement, the ball is red, is the ball is not red. We use the word not. Okay? Okay, true or false? This is a conditional statement. Alex always wears shorts when it's hot. Is that a conditional statement? Well, I don't see an if or a then. And Conditional statements can always, always be written as an if-then statement. Well, it's not an if-then statement, but can it be written as an if-then statement? The answer is yes. If it's hot, then Alex always wears shorts. If it's hot, then Alex always wears shorts. I reworded this as an if-then statement. So is this a conditional statement? True. Yes, it is. Okay? Thanks for your efforts, everybody. Keep up the good work.